Today I want to talk to you about my favorite video editing app. It's called Quick from GoPro. Let's go. Everybody, what's up and welcome to another episode of Weapon of Choice. Today I want to talk about video editing on the iPhone, which is kind of a weird for somebody who's doing, you know, videos on YouTube and use professional equipment, but it's turned out, you know, I got started into making videos and actually YouTube as well by doing vacation videos when I went on with my vacation uh, with my family, did some footage either on my camera, on my, my drone, on my GoPro, then put them on the computer and edit them. Now recently, on recent trips, um, I got started using Quick, which is the app that comes with GoPro to shoot to edit the videos from snowboard vacation or whatever I took with the GoPro. But I fell in love with the app so much that now I edit my videos vacation using it. And it turns out it's so good I could even use it for editing vlogs or whatever. And it's much, much faster than editing on the computer. It's very powerful with great results. Um, so I want to show you, again, you don't need to have a GoPro camera to use this app. You can bring in footage from your your, you know, your app, your mobile, um, any video that you take with it. So I just want to show you how it looks. It looks really great. It's super easy to work with. So here it is. So this is the quick app. You go into it. Um, let me show you how I'm just going to go into this recent video that I did and I'm just going to make a copy out of it so you can see how that looks. So basically they, the way that you get started is by picking footage and then you're picking up some kind of a template for it. So this is the template that I use. There's a bunch like really cool. And the, the template, basically what it means is kind of like the tempo of the video and the, the transition, how they're handled. So I choose this one, which is called light. And then you bring in the footage. Now here you can bring in whatever footage you want. So as you can see, most of that footage, some of it is drone footage like this one or this one. Um, but most of it is just, just normal iPhone footage that that I have here. Um, some of it here is GoPro footage, but again, most of it is just normal iPhone footage. Now you can add titles like this, or um, and then you can restructure it so you can move them around. But the, the really cool thing about it is that when you're editing, um, let's see if I edit this one. Um, it's going to ask you, you know, which, how, how long you want this to be, or if you have some highlights within it, you can say, oh, I want to see this one. So you add kind of highlights in this one, and then you can say, um, you know, just show the highlights or just show the, you know, the tempo here. Um, you can trim it. Obviously, you can make it fast forward. You can just you duplicate it. Um, so it's really, really, really easy to do this. Um, then you can make sure that, you know, if you want this to be cinema or a portrait, if you want to export this for iPhone, um, then you can choose some music which basically they give you um, kind of a big library for music that is basically kind of fits the template that you chose. Um, but you can also bring in any music that you want that you have on your iPhone. And basically that really helps you to get it done. So this video, I'm going to share it with you in a second, just if you want to watch it, um, to show you the, the end result here. It took me less than 10 minutes to edit. And I feel like it's, it's really good quality. Um, this is something that usually would take me an hour, maybe two hours to do on, you know, on Premiere if I would bring this up to the computer and just, transferring all the you know all the assets to the computer from all the cameras now everything comes here really really fast um, you know from either the drone or the GoPro so it makes my process that much faster so let me just replay this video for you um, see you know just so you can see the quality by the way I know that some there is a bit of a glitch with the drone footage just because I was too lazy to download the the original high quality drone footage from the from the video Check this out. I really like the quick app and I'll see you on the next video.